agenda. So we are ensuring through this legislation, look, a parent, you have kids in school, you want to go and, and, and raise these objections, you know, you have, you're empowered to do that. Community members who don't have kids in school, some say, well, why should they be able to, to get involved in this curriculum? They don't have kids in school. Well, you know, a lot of this, some of them pay taxes. Some of them uh, help support the schools through that. So I wouldn't say that someone that doesn't have kids in school has no interest. I mean, these are important institutions in our community. So they're still allowed to lodge objections, but you can lodge one a month because we're not going to create a cottage industry of people that are just trying to use this to advance themselves or to advance a, a false political narrative. And, and I think the legislature struck an appropriate balance. Now, Manny and the Department of Education, they're going to be holding any principals or teachers accountable who are weaponizing this. So, for example, there was a teacher in, uh, I think, Sarasota, Bradenton area that papered over every book in the classroom saying, oh, I, I, you can't have books. The state's not letting me show you books. That's a lie. That's not true. That's performative. And so that's somebody who's entrusted to teach kids putting their political agenda over the best interests of the students' education and their access to learning. That's wrong. So that's not going to stand in the state of Florida. So we don't have time for your activism. We don't have time for your nonsense. Uh, we have a process in place to empower parents. Uh, unfortunately, it's necessary given what's been going on in our, in our uh, country, including even here in Florida. Uh, but the notion that that would cause um, some question about whether some of these classic works of literature or things uh, is, is absurd. And we know that. So this puts the kibosh on that. We're not going to sit there and indulge those frivolous complaints.